Evening all ladies and gents, see it's pre-record and we're on my old phone so the quality might not be as sharp as the iPhone, I filled the iPhone memory up I didn't want to go live live in this location because dodgy wodgy woo woos my didn't know about that one so this is a future to keep eye on we're in a partially abandoned street in South Woolwich uh, this is the name of the street and they're taking the damn street signs down this was what I wanted to really see this was abandoned in 2018 and as you can see it's a bastard travel lodge now here you've got abandoned shops there's a lot on in that one so I don't know if that's yeah practically near everything over is abandoned look this is all newish stuff that's not abandoned none of that I'll point you down a minute because people are coming along. This, what you're seeing here, until 2018-19, was a complete abandoned 1950s shopping complex. It's been turned into flats now. See, like some old bits and bobs ran through there, so have a look. But yeah, this one was what I was really interested in, and that's been turned into a travel lodge. I mean, this area has changed massively from when I was a kid. It's a car coming along, and when they see you speed, like you crossing the road, they speed up some people. Yeah, it's really changed, Woolwich. South and North Woolwich has really changed. Bastards, look. This was all abandoned until a few years ago, the bits of it. And this. I see that travel lodge, it's all new. Alright, well, that one, ladies and gentlemen. We've had busts and busts upon busts today, I'm afraid. Woolwich Train Station Museum had. Men renovating it all over it. <laughs> Travel Lodge, which was abandoned, is no longer abandoned. The shopping complex, which and car parky thing, which was abandoned, is no longer abandoned. Still, I suppose at least it's getting regenerated. Something, isn't it? Mordgramit Square. Jesus, it sounds like it's from Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? Mordgramit. We shall go to the island of Mordgramit and kill all their souls. Something like that. Oh, a bit of industrial. But yeah, look, you can see it. And the noises you can hear there are um, machine, uh, sewing machines. So that is not an abandoned. Looks it from the outside, I'll tell you that. So I'll show you more of that in a minute. Right. Power Street. We're in, we're in Powys Street in South Woolwich. 24 hour CCTV in operation. Cool, yeah, it is, look, as well. Someone said to me they got sensors in there as well. It was a bank, I believe. GR 1935, yeah, so that's King George V, I believe. But yeah, this is a nice little abandoned. It's been a good day, like, for having to walk around memory lane and things like that, and having a look. Because a lot of these old abandoned places is going to fall apart and stuff like that, and they're not now, so... I'm not quite certain how I feel about it, because it's nice to have a ramble through these locations, isn't it? This was abandoned for a good long time. Always highly secure, though. 
uh, it was a cinema bingo hall abandoned for a long time now it's the new wine church I thought it was like a wine drinking place but it's not it's an actual church so it's obviously something to do with the Eucharist which is some um, baptistry and stuff like the wine and things like that can I zoom in no can't zoom in on this one I'm afraid ladies and gents no. But yeah, we're on the old phone at the moment, so... Ebony's building. Posts. This is a churchy type place as well. This one hasn't been abandoned. Never. It's always been in use. And you can see it was uh, got a lot of its old architecture inside and stuff, so nice building. I've had a few problems today with the technology, downloading things, uploading things, filled the iPhone storage up. Now, as I say, this looks totally abandoned, didn't it? But when you went around the back just now, see the lights are on, the same machines are in full operation. But look, the Thames from the South Woolwich side. This won't be a long video. I love things like that. Just the, the dusky colour of the sky with that tree, with the industrial, like the factories, you've got Tate and Lowell's over that side of the river. So I time a lot of my pre-records and my lives for evening time. This is what I was on about this one, but it is occupied. Fairly recently repainted. Being looked after quite obviously. So yeah. It's been bust day today, but it's been an okay day. I don't, I don't get too down about busts because well, what's the point? One, what's the point? And a lot of these old buildings were literally falling to shits anyway. Some of them were even beyond exploring; they were so dangerous. So maybe it's good they're getting another life. Where we just walked through is is there, and as you can see, it's all gated up and shooting on it, this is security there. Just trying to find somewhere to get something to eat. Papa John's. Oh, don't I? Whatever I eat is going to have to be chewy and easy to chew. North Greenwich. See, look, these geezers and these um, scooter things, so dodgy. One, because they nearly get themselves killed every other minute. And two, they're always going by and snatching people's phones and bags and stuff. This leisure centre is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. It was always decent when I was a kid. Waterfront leisure centre, South Woolwich. They've got a water slide, uh, a wave pool, all sorts in there. We are now coming into Woolwich High Street, which, goodness gracious me, this has changed a lot. I've not been in this particular bit since about, well, since I was young, go that way, kid, kid teenager. My nan would come over to Woolwich occasionally, but we liked, and my mum, particularly like a lot of my happiest memories of Woolwich are like coming over with my mum. Sorry, man. Coming over with my mum and stuff. And uh, yeah, it was very different. Teenagers. <laughs> I've been there and done that. I'm glad I'm not a teenager anymore. Rich Hunt Foundation, this one's been here for a couple of years. Second hand shop, and they do have some decent stuff in there, but it's expensive.
that's not expensive, that's three quid. That's cheap, isn't it? I take that back, it isn't expensive. <laughs> that's nice. I don't think, oh god, I better stop, I'm terrible when I go past her. This is like that. My mum would like this one, she likes mobile phones. But yeah, I won't go all the way up, but yeah, it's basically just changed along here beyond all recognition. It's really, really different. We're going back over. Oops, yeah, over then. We're going back over the other side of the uh, river in a minute. But, uh, in the mouth. In the closer. And if any of our American page members or whatnot are watching, in the boozer means in the pub, in the bar, public house or whatnot. This shop's been there years. They sell crystals and everything. My nan loved this shop. This has been here for absolute years. It's one of the only original shops. Seventh Sun. It's like a witchy type shop, but they sell crystals, all sorts in there. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Jesus Christ, I just looked in the chicken shop there and the chicken in their cabinet looks absolutely incinerated. <laughs> I won't be eating from there. from somewhere like that you're going to get chips. Sorry for finding you down at the floor so much ladies and gents. So I don't like to film people. This is where we've just come from. The old sea captain's church, St Mary's. This is all like the new stuff that's being built up, all this lot. None of this was there when I was a kid. It's always been narrow this bit here. Well, it wasn't a long video anyway, but as you can see, look, it's just all completely brand new stuff. All that way was just so run down and derelict. These are old, some of the only like oldish Edwardian Victorian bits that didn't get bombed. All this lot, everything along the seafront was more or less destroyed. These are old buildings that were patched up after the war. Woolwich was mostly made up of little old shops like this with the garrets above. And it was a lot of fishermen, eels and that kind of thing, flounder, kippers. Most of the people that lived over this side of Woolwich and in the North Woolwich side, along the Thames, fishing was the, the money in those days. Right, I've nearly got myself mown down there. So right, I am going to end this one because I tried to go live in the tunnel, which they say you can get basically reception there but you can't it screwed up and the article I shared on London Loop page about there being a time anomaly under there I like to experiment things and I want to test something so I'm going to end this one and it'll be a pre-record from that but it may come a nothing probably just a superstitious piece of nonsense but if you're interested in that kind of thing have a look at the article on my page about Woolwich Foot Tunnel time anomaly right and that's Sun City so that we find him pretty. You take care everyone and I shall see you all soon on the other side of the river.